Our big realty debate today is owning a home just a prerogative of the upper middle class and the rich in India. Is affordable housing in the country a myth or a reality? Rough estimates show that 78% of Indians earn less than $4,376 a year or less than 2.5 lakh rupees a year. Is it possible for a family earning 21,000 rupees a, a month in this country to own a flat or a housing unit? Forget about the poor or those living at the fringes. It's the big chunk of middle India now which wants the answer. When will buying a home become a reality for them? To answer that very important question, I'm joined by Mr. Arun Kumar Mistra, Secretary, Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation. Government of India, this debate, of course, will not carry any weight without the government's point of view. Also on my panel today, Mr. Naveen Raheja, President, National Real Estate Development Council. Of course, he is also the head chairman and managing director of Raheja Group. Samir Jasuja in the studio with us. Everyone knows him. If you've been watching this space, Samir is the CEO and founder of Prop Equity and our knowledge partners. I've got from Mumbai, Mr. Ramesh Jogani, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, India REIT Fund. Ramesh is a pioneer in real estate funding. And of course, he will tie up one big end. How do you make money by investing in affordable housing from the developer's point of view? And from the consumer's point of view, how do you find finance for affordable housing? Mr. Padam Duggar, Managing Director, Duggar Housing from Chennai. This company has established and proven that affordable housing in this country is possible. You need to have the will to do it. Mr. Mishra, I would like to come to you first. There's a lower income group. There's an economically weaker section. They've always struggled to be able to buy their own dwelling unit. And there is a lot to be done. The worry today is that the lower middle class and the middle class is finding buying a house unaffordable. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's not any uh, anymore that we, we say that only poor people can't afford a house. Today, even the middle class is finding it difficult to afford a house. Primarily because in the last 10 to 15 years, the uh, cost of a housing unit has gone up tremendously. In government parlance, what you call affordable is, it has different definitions at different places, but normally what is understood is that if you are able to uh, spend 25% of your income as an EMI, right. then of course we call it an affordable. So in case my income is less than 10,000 rupees a month, and I'm able to get a unit for less than 2,500 rupees at the cost of 2,500 rupees a month, then that unit becomes affordable. The similarly, this can be translated to the middle class. One of the reasons why it has become very uh, slightly more difficult now is, of course, the, the land prices have gone up tremendously mm. in the last 10 years. While the material construction prices have gone up marginally, but fundamental differences come in the prices of land and also in the last five years particularly, the cost of money has also gone up. The interest rates have gone up. So these are some of the issues because of which housing has become, the housing units have become a little expensive now. And uh, obviously you are aware of this problem, I'll come to you. The NDTV News app had redefined the entire genre. Now another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now ndtvprofit.com slash apps.